Aquarius. This is what happened in the next 48 hours for November the 23rd through November the 24th, 2023. Universal energies. Show me what I need to see for the star sign of Aquarius for November the 23rd through November the 24th, 2023. Universal energies. Show me what I need to see. For the star sign of Aquarius for November the 23rd through November the 24th, 2023. Universal energies, show me what I need to see. For the star sign of Aquarius for November the 23rd through November the 24th, 2023. Show me. You guys, subscribe, like, comment, and share these videos. If this does not resonate with you, check your moon, rising, and Venus sign videos. I do not read reversals. If you're interested in a private reading, you can reach me at herimmortalmajesty at gmail.com. So, Aquarius. Aquarius, these are your cards, honey. So, Aquarius, you have the Nine of Cups, Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. This is wish fulfillment, but this can also speak to you feeling smug or overindulging in alcohol or substance abuse. So, Aquarius, listen, could be getting your wish here. You can tell me that you're feeling smug or overindulging trying to numb out. Clarify the Nine of Cups. For Aquarius, clarify the Nine of Cups. For Aquarius, clarify the Nine of Cups. For Aquarius, it is clarified with the Knight of Pentacles. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This is someone coming into you or you're coming into someone to bring something more solid, stable, and secure. Now, this can be about making things more committed. This can be about a lump sum of money, a job offer, a raise, a promotion, a bonus. A high ticket item purchase, a new home, a new car, a token of love, a gift, anything of value. But it's on the slowest moving night in the deck. So having anything solid, stable, secure, and long lasting is so slow coming to the point where it seems like it's not coming at all. So stability or commitment has been halted here. So Aquarius, you're telling me that everything has come to a screeching halt? Clarify the Knight of Pentacles for Aquarius. Clarify the Knight of Pentacles for Aquarius. Clarify the Knight of Pentacles for Aquarius. It is clarified with the Four of Cups. Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. There is an offer on the table that you're not accepting or rejecting. You're contemplating this offer, but actually you're bored with the offer, thinking of missing the offer. But this is also a card of you contemplating sending an offer, but you feared that the offer would be rejected. So Aquarius, very well could be an offer coming into you that you're thinking about missing. However, you could be contemplating sending an offer. You just have this fear it won't be accepted. Now Aquarius, listen, you can tell me it's your wish to slowly go into offer here, but you have this fear it won't be accepted. However, Aquarius, very well could be an offer coming into you that you're thinking about missing here. And you could be happy that you're not that you're not dealing with this offer or this person anymore. You're happy that everything has come to a screeching halt. You don't want their offer. Aquarius, you have the king of pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This king is usually stable, rooted, grounded, traditional. Believes in the institution of marriage and family. Someone who is good with managing finances and material resources. This could be a business owner, CEO, independent contractor, manager. Could be dealing with Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, or someone with Earth prominent in their charts. However, when we're dealing with the King of Pentacles, the King of Pentacles is a married, stable, committed person. So you could be dealing with a spouse. King of Pentacles is a nurturing father figure. So you could be dealing with the parent of your child. Could be dealing with someone you work with or do business with or have some type of joint assets, resources, and property with or a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Clarify the King of Pentacles for Aquarius. Clarify the King of Pentacles 
for Aquarius. Clarify the King of Pentacles for Aquarius. It is clarified with the Nine of Cups again. Like I said, could be getting your wish here. Could be feeling smug or overindulging, trying to numb out. <laughs> I don't know, Aquarius. We're going to have to find out. Aquarius, you have the Three of Pentacles. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This is making plans to meet up. Making plans to partner up, to work together on a contract or a project. This is teamwork. This is collaboration. Now, this can speak to there being a third party involved. But this can also speak to you being willing to work on it or put in the work. So, Aquarius, listen, this could all be work or business, yes. You can tell me that you're willing to work on it, willing to put in the work. You can tell me that this is some type of an agreement or a contract collaboration. Or there's a third party. Clarify the three of pentacles. For Aquarius, clarify the three of pentacles. For Aquarius, clarify the three of pentacles. For Aquarius, it is clarified with the six of swords. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, this is moving away to calmer waters, moving away to a place of peace. So either mentally or physically, you're wanting to move away. Now, this can speak to if you guys had any type of disagreements or arguments between you. Agreeing to disagree. Letting bygones be bygones. And moving away to a place of peace and harmony together. Or this is you saying you just want to move out, move on, and move away from the relationship. So, Aquarius, listen, you can tell me that you're physically moving or traveling. You can tell me, hey, let's just put it behind us and move away to a place of peace and harmony together. Letting bygones be bygones. Or you're saying you just want to move out, move on, and move away from the relationship. You know, Aquarius, it very well could be some type of physical movement or travel for work or business here. You know, very financially stable here, Aquarius. I don't know. Maybe you got the offer that you wanted or you just was like, you know what? You got to make me an offer I can't refuse. However, Aquarius, could also be that you're wanting to put things behind you and move away to a place of peace and harmony together, letting bygones be bygones. Because you're working things out. Could be getting your wish here. Maybe you finally went in with this offer. Aquarius. You have the seven of swords. Gemini. What kind of read is this, Aquarius? Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This is someone lying, cheating, stealing. Being manipulative. Trying to get away with something. Someone being deceptive. Someone strategically devising a plan of action. Someone being sneaky. Trying to escape. Trying to get away with something. So Aquarius, some type of lying, cheating, deceptiveness here. Sneakiness of sneaking off. Clarify the seven of swords. For Aquarius. Clarify the seven of swords. For Aquarius. <laughs> Clarify the seven of swords. For Aquarius, it is clarified with the Nine of Swords. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, this is you being anxious, worried, stressed, replaying things over and over in your mind, losing sleep at night, worried about something. So Aquarius, you're all up in your head, stressed, worried, anxious, can't eat, can't sleep, bothered by something here. So Aquarius, you're stressing over some type of being sneaky or sneaking off or being strategic or some type of deception that you found out about. Because I don't know why I'm so hell-bent. I want you to get your wish. That's what I keep looking for, you to get your wish here. But it just seems like you could be feeling smug or overindulging, trying to numb out because something is stressing you out concerning some type of deception. Now, you can tell me that you're stressing because you were deceptive in some type of way and you're wanting to come in with this offer and your wish is that they accept your offer and you guys work things out and sail off into the sunset. 
However, you can tell me that you're stressed because it's their deception and you don't want their offer and you could be overindulging trying to numb out here. That you're just ready to move away from the situation. You have the high priestess, Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. This is she who knows. She who knows. This is the keeper of the hidden secrets. Keeper of the hidden knowledge. The universe is calling for you to use your intuition. But you may know something that you're keeping to yourself. Now the high priestess keeps silent. So it's a good chance that you guys aren't speaking to one another. So Aquarius, listen, you can tell me that you guys aren't speaking. You can tell me that you're using your intuition or you have a secret. Clarify the high priestess for Aquarius. Clarify the high priestess for Aquarius. Clarify the high priestess for Aquarius. It is clarified with the ace of cups. Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. This is a brand new beginning in love. A brand new beginning in a deep emotional connection. This is love overflowing. A brand new blessing. A brand new beginning in love. So Aquarius, new love, new start to love, or a blessing here. Goodness gracious. Aquarius, I want you guys to tell me what this is in the comments, okay? Because I want to know. Inquiring minds want to know. Aquarius, you can tell me that you're using your intuition, that they have new love. It's stressing you out. You feel like they were cheating. They may have had a third party and you're just wanting to move away from the situation. You could be overindulging, trying to numb out because you're going stagnant with this person. And you may be feeling a sense of rejection or you could be refusing to work anything out with this person because you feel like they have new love. However, Aquarius, I want to know if you're all up in your head about your sneaky strategicness going on here. That you have a secret, that you have new love. Do you have a third party that you're wanting to go towards here? It's your wish to slowly go into this person and offer them. You just have this fear it won't be accepted. In my mind, I'll always be your lady. In my mind, I'll always be your girl. I don't care what nobody say in time. Would tell if I'm your lady. Because in my mind, I'll always be his girl. They say if you love sometimes, you got to let it go. And if it comes back, then it means so much more. Oh, but if it never does, at least you will know. That it was something you had to go through to grow. Listen. Pressure cooker, rage, ready to explode. Goodness, pressure cooker, rage, ready to explode. Somebody's mad or somebody's cooking. <laughs> cooking while they're mad. I don't know. <laughs> what else for Aquarius? Single, current status, available. Are you single, current status, available? If you're interested in a private reading, you can reach me at herimmortalmajesty at gmail.com. Aquarius, this will happen in the next 48 hours for November the 23rd through November the 24th, 2023. You guys, give me feedback. Subscribe, like, comment, and share. And follow me on Twitter at herimmortalmaj, M-A-J. And I'll see you guys next week. Peace.